Major resources in a warehouse are spent on order picking. So the efficiency of a warehouse is often determined by the way they organize their order picking procedures. Order picking is the most expensive operation in warehouse, at least on average. Typically, order picking amounts for more than half of the operational cost of a warehouse. Here, uh, this text by Bartoldi and Hackman quotes a uh, cost of 55% of the total operating cost. And if we want to break down this 55% of the total operating cost in several activities related to order picking, then we have the traveling, the searching for the item to pick, the extracting, so getting out the item from the shelf, and some paperwork that has to be filled and handled in order to uh, do the picking. The traveling from these four activities, again, is the most cost-intensive in activity. Though for a warehouse management system to work well, it is important to reduce the travel time. This whole outbound process of order picking is started by uh, when a customer order comes in. Yeah, so we receive a customer order and this customer order triggers the activities of the outbound process in the warehouse. A customer order could be, for example, assume you order online a mobile phone, though you have your order will include several lines. Yeah? One order line is referred to uh, a specific item and its quantity. So, for example, you order one mobile phone of a Korean manufacturer and the quantity for this is one. This would be the first order line. In the same order, you order two headphones and one power bank. Though this order would have three order lines and each order line is a combination of an item and its quantity. The warehouse management system checks if these items from the order are available in the warehouse and then it reorganizes this order, it reprocesses this order in order to improve it for the picking process. So, for example, if a customer orders 15 units of a product, then the warehouse management system checks how this, in which quantities this product is stored. So, for example, if 12 units of this product are stored in one carton, then the order line of 15 units of a certain item is transformed into two pick lines. One would be the instruction to pick one full carton of this order and the second pick line would be the instruction to pick three units of this order. Though, keep in mind, we have an order, an order line, a pick line, and the pick line is the instruction for a picker. More specifically, the pick line defines where a picker should pick which item in the warehouse and in what quantity and in what in what unit of measure. Yeah, so each pick line includes a location that needs to be visited by the picker. And thereby you also need to um, take into account that a pick line might include more than one single grab of picking an item from the shelf. Yeah? It can include um, picking se making several grabs. So if the pick line is getting 10 cartons of something, then this would be one pick line and the picker needs to have grab each carton separately. Um, a smart warehouse management system will do some additional optimization of this picking problem. Though one way to 
improve the efficiency of the picking process is to bundle several pick lines into pick lists and assign pick lists to pickers. Yeah? The picker is the person who actually gets the item from storage. Though, and by doing this, we might assign each person to a separate area in the warehouse, so that each picker focus on one area in the warehouse and is focusing on picking those items that are stored in a specific area of the warehouse. In addition, the warehouse management system will decide in which sequence the picker should do his picks. Though, by doing this, um, the travel path of the picker through the warehouse is optimized so that we try to reduce the travel of the picker. Because, as you already know, traveling is the most cost intensive part of picking and picking is the most cost intensive part of warehouse operations. Finally, to conclude this video, I ask you to check out these videos from Budweiser and Amazon, which give you some nice examples how these picking activities actually look like in practice.